Hi guys, we're from Phone Arena and let me know what did tease that their new K4 Note is uh, coming to India uh, right from the end of 2015 but it's, we are in 2016 and in the month of Jan and the phone has gone on sale and we actually have the retail unit with us. This is the Lenovo K4 Note and it ships along with the uh, VR headset if you get the bundle. So we decided to get that just to make sure we get the cool headset. It's called the Ant VR Phone Glass and it's uh, made by Lenovo specifically for this device and I'm sure it's going to be working with other devices as well. So the cool thing is that if you actually buy the headset, uh, this VR headset along with the phone, you get it for just about 499 order rupees. Uh, but if you buy the headset alone, it's about 1299. So it makes good sense to actually buy the bundle itself. So yeah, this is the K4 Note successor to the hugely popular K3 Note which uh, arrived in 2015. So this is the K4 Note. Let's actually open up the box some plastic here so let's get rid of the plastic so it says vibe k4 note it's not just k4 note uh, but it's part of the vibe series now it says vibe k4 note so that's the device uh, let's actually open the box up it's actually a dual sim device as you can see it has ima stickers and uh, it's a pretty big 5.5 inch screen so it's a seal here as well let's break that open so here we go all right, so this is the device in black. Oh wow, so this has got a case uh, on the device out of the box. <laughs> uh, so let's actually get this out of the case. Okay, so pretty nice feel. As you can see, it has really good audio. It's got Dolby Atmos audio on the inside. And finally, we have a fingerprint sensor, which was a missing feature on the K3 Note. We have the fingerprint sensor on the K4 Note and very nice placement right below the camera. So let's get that powered up. So, and uh, beautiful design. I can see some Motorola design cues coming in this device. You can see it's got this metallic band around the device and uh, it's got these nice dual speakers, stereo speakers on the top and the bottom. And you have the power lock switch, volume rocker, headphone jack on the top. Nothing on the left side. You have the micro USB port on the bottom along with the microphone hole. So let's actually get this set up and come back, back to you. We have this beautiful 5.5 inch full HD screen. It's supposed to be a really bright screen with about 4 nit 450 nits in terms of brightness. So really bright. And you have the capacitive keys below the screen. You have the home key, menu key, and the back key here. So on the front, you have a five megapixel camera. And on the back, you have a 13 megapixel camera along with a dual tone flash. So, and it's a dual SIM device, as you can uh, set. And this is a system update already. All right, let's let that download in the background. So as you can see, it's running on Lenovo's skin on top of Android. So let's actually take a look at the Android version. Device information, three gigs of RAM. It's running on Android 5.1 Lollipop. So, and it's running on Vibe UI. It's powered by a MediaTek Octa-Core processor running at 1.3 gigahertz. And it's the MT6753 processor, uh, Mali T720 GPU which is clocked at 40 megahertz. So as you can see, there's Dolby audio here. You can turn it off or turn it on. It's also got fast charging. There's a 3300 mAh battery inside and it's uh, pretty nice how uh, Lenovo has managed to cram in such a big battery in this small phone. And it's a 5.5 inch screen, but then I think it's pretty uh, easy to use, I would say, in terms of the device uh, usability. It's got a dual SIM uh, functionality. So let's actually open it up and take a look. So I think there's a back cover here. It's an openable back cover. So let's open up the back cover here. Okay, the battery is not removable though. Okay, there's a micro SD uh, card goes in here. As you can see uh, below the camera, uh, below the fingerprint sensor. That's where the micro SD card goes. It supports cards up to 120 gigabytes. So this is the SIM 2 and this is the SIM 1. Both are micro. So let's put back this back cover here and then also snap the case on it and see how it feels like. The uh, case does help in uh, gripping the phone. The phone does seem a little slippery on the back, but the case does seem to help it. So there's also a free screen protector in the box, which is pretty handy. And let's actually take a look what's in here. You have the 
quick start guide let's actually take a look at this product okay there are no headphones in the box <laughs> they are actually selling uh, skull candy branded headphones uh, called ando headphones for about 1299 so there's no headphones in this box and for the specs i wouldn't really complain and for the price as well it's slightly uh, heavy about 158 grams not too chunky uh, and uh, it's about uh, fair in terms of the weight distribution so this is the usb cable micro usb not usb type c it's uh, output is 2 amperes so it does support quick charging i think it's using some lenovo technology for the quick charging so let's put all this back in the box and actually take a look at the sar value if it's there on the box in case you guys are interested um, so 08 0 0.844 watts per kilogram for the head and 0 0.1711 watts per kilogram for the body so that's the sar values of the k4 note so as i told you the lenovo k4 note does pack a fingerprint sensor and I'm going to be actually demoing it. I think set up my finger for the fingerprint sensor and the fingerprint reader. So I'm going to be actually demoing the unlock speed here. So as you can see, it's pretty fast. We did, uh, if you remember, we did show you the fingerprint sensor on the Lenovo P1M, which did have a really fast fingerprint sensor. And I think uh, this one is blazingly fast. So let's actually take a look at the storage available. So there's about 16 gigs of internal storage. Only 8.77 gigs is accessible to you. So if you put in a 128 gig uh, SD card, micro SD card, you're going to be getting about roughly about 120 or 130 gigs overall, which is cool uh, on a phone. But yeah, there's not even a 200 gigs card, 200 gig cards are available right now. So then I was in claiming support for the 200 gig card, but we would definitely try it out on this device and let you know later as to if it works or not. So uh, some nifty tricks in the UI, as I told you, this has got something called super power. And this basically puts the phone uh, in a really long lasting mode power saver mode so as you can see it will last for about 28 odd hours which is about more than a day so that's something and also you have uh, secure zone which lets you um, separate uh, like your work and personal stuff and you also have dolby so you for the audio we'll report about the audio quality in the review can't really show that in a video uh, but it's been it was there on the a7000 as well that was the first Lenovo phone with the uh, Dolby Atmos audio. So I think Lenovo has done something uh, with the chip uh, and tweaked it to get really good audio output. Uh, really looking forward to trying it out. So there's something else as well cool on this phone as I told you. So you also get this VR headset along with the phone bundle we got. So inside the settings you have um, this feature option. So if you go here, uh, you can see that oops so if you see uh, it shows you uh, it's in the vr glasses split screen mode switch plus and hold the power button to display the vr glasses uh, split screen mode so we'll unbox this guy here and actually showing it to you show it to you in this mode so it's about 12.99 if you buy it alone it's got ant vr phone glass and uh, as you can see it's calls calling itself a uh, 3d private theta 3d immersive game under degrees uh, field of view glasses friendly and that's about it so let's actually take a look at how it looks like you've seen the oneplus uh, google cardboard as well so okay it ships and seems to be shipping in a nice little case too that's handy saves it from getting uh, wow, this is really sophisticated, really comfortable, seems really con cushiony and comfy and all that. So, wow, they have some protective film here. So, you can slide in the phone here, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think the phone goes in, I think, over here. You put this, your phone over here and I think you close it over here. And wow, so this is really well built. And this is well close here for adjusting the fit in your head too so let's quickly try it out so to get some cleaning cloth as well for the headset so let's see how you actually put it on so i'm assuming you need to slide it in that place as i showed you so that was the uh, ant vr headset uh, along with the lenovo k4 not pretty nice experience and uh, 
although there's a lot huge gap in the sides which kind of lets uh, light come in you can probably use it in a dark room and uh, overcome the problem but apart from that pretty neat little uh, vr headset and it's good that lenovo is actually making more people aware of this oneplus did this i think probably very well they launched the oneplus 2 via vr and a lot of people got, came to know about the technology so i think to the to year 2016 or 17 is going to be year of vr so virtual reality is really big and it's great that uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of these in the market so that was a quick unboxing and demo of the uh, lenovo k4 note or vibe k4 note so that's it guys so do it a like if you like this video and if you have any questions about the lenovo k4 note let us know in the comments and we'll try to answer it and do check out phone right now for other uh videos and also our review of the k4 note which will be coming out in the next few days thanks for watching